Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back. And today I'll be showing you how you can easily use a VPN. And I'll be demonstrating using three of the best VPNs you can find in the market today. And these are ExpressVPN, NordVPN, and Surfshark. And while Nord and Surfshark are two of the best in the industry with all the features that make for a top VPN, having tested and used all three VPNs for the past three years, I can safely say that my daily driver is ExpressVPN, and I'll explain exactly why that is in just a little bit, but I'll also talk about the other two in case you just prefer something else. All right, so let's get started. After getting yourself a subscription with any of these VPNs, feel free to use the links below, by the way, if you'd like a discount to save you some more cash. And after having downloaded and installed one of these VPNs, the first thing you need to understand is the two basic security features that are available in all of them, which I'll talk about in just a minute. Now, the second thing you need to know is that every VPN has a list of locations. ExpressVPN is sorted by continents with 105 countries. NordVPN has a map design and a list of 61 countries where you can just look up the locations. And the same thing goes with Surfshark where you have a list of 100 countries, but with a modern simplified design. So now let's go to the options menu where you will find the two basic security features that any VPN should have, which are the kill switch and split tunneling. Now, the kill switch cuts your internet connection if the VPN disconnects unexpectedly, making sure that you're only going to be connected to the internet while you're secured by the VPN tunnel in order to prevent any rare IP leaks. This way, no one, including your ISP or government, will be able to know what you're doing online, which is very useful. And split tunneling will let you select which apps are tunneled through the VPN and which are not. So you can use this feature if you just want to use the VPN for a few applications while leaving all the other applications unaffected by the VPN. And the reverse is also possible if you'd like to have all of your apps use the VPN while the selected apps are excluded from the VPN connection. So this can actually be a very useful feature when used correctly. Now, what you also need to know is that one of these VPNs may have a few features or a particular feature that the other VPN may not have. So for this reason, I recommend you check the reviews link below so that you know exactly which one is best for you personally. But besides that, you've got the protocols. Usually you can leave that on automatic and you're good to go. But since Lightweight UDP is the best performing protocol with ExpressVPN, I keep it at that. For Nord and Surfshark, you want to use the Nord Links and WireGuard protocols for the best speeds. So now that you understand what the kill switch and split tunneling are about and which protocol is best to choose, you can officially use a VPN without any problems. So as an example, suppose that you want to access the US Netflix library. You go to Americas, select the United States and choose, let's say Chicago, then turn it on and that's it. After that, if you'd like, you could use an IP finder to confirm that you're connected to the right server. But essentially, this is how you can access content that's not available to you. Now, how do you use NordVPN? Again, it's very simple. Go to settings. You will find other features here, including the kill switch and split tunneling, of course. Once you've adjusted things to your liking, you can either use the list of servers or just zoom in and connect to a location of your choice. For now, let's connect to the Italian server as an example. Just click the dot and we're good to go. Now I have access to everything available in Italy. And finally, Surfshark. It's the same thing, really. You just go to the settings. Here you can find the kill switch and you have bypasser, which is the same as split tunneling, but it's just called bypasser here. Choose the WireGuard protocol, then return to the locations and pick one of these options. Let's just use France as an example. And it will just take a few seconds to connect and that's it. Now, some of the main reasons why I like to use Express over Nord and Surfshark is because of the quick time to connect. It's much quicker than any other VPN in my experience when it comes to how long it takes to connect to the server. And that includes the startup time of the application itself as well. So Express is consistently faster in that area, not to mention that it's got the largest roster of countries out of all the other VPNs in the market. So that gives me the biggest variety of content from all over the world. And it's clearly super easy to use, which makes Express my daily driver of a VPN. Now that doesn't mean that Nord or Surfshark are bad. So if you're not comfortable with Express and would like something different, then NordVPN, granted you don't mind having less countries, is essentially the best to well 
well-rounded VPN that gives you a whole bunch of bonus features for a very reasonable price. And Surfshark is basically the best budget VPN that gets the job done at the cheapest possible cost without sacrificing any of the premium features that you normally get with more costly VPNs. Now, when it comes to the pricing, the longer term plans for these VPNs will give you better monthly rates. So for example, ExpressVPN gives you three plans to choose from. There's a month at a time plan for $12.95 per month, a six month plan for $10 per month, or a 12 month plan for $8.32 per month. However, if you use the link in the description, you get three months free. So the 12 month plan drops down to $6.67 per month. Now, out of curiosity, I spoke with Express and they mentioned that a lot of people end up spending more money on monthly renewals than they would have with the yearly plan. Because the typical pattern is that people renew monthly, thinking they might not need the VPN long term. So unfortunately, they end up spending more money using the monthly plan than they would have going with the yearly one, especially with the discount code linked below. So ultimately, if you know you're not going to need Express or any of these VPNs for longer than a month, definitely get the monthly plan. But if there is a chance you might end up using it longer than a month, you might want to go with the longer term plan. And then if you change your mind or realize you won't need it that long, you can always get a refund and go back to just a month at a time plan since there's a 30 day money back guarantee. So that is it for today's video. I hope you found this useful. Feel free to ask me any questions by leaving them in the comments down below and I'll be happy to answer all of them. And don't forget to like the video and subscribe to our channel to stay up to date on everything VPNs and cybersecurity. Thank you guys very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.